have team coverage for you this morning on how the protest unfolded yesterday and what updates we can expect today. Way 31 Sierra Phillips is live for us in downtown Huntsville with more on how the protest turned violent into the late evening. But first, we want to start with Way 31's Rania Ross this morning. She joins us live at Big Spring Park, where for the majority of the rally and the march, things remained peaceful. Rania? Right, you guys, hundreds of people gathered here at Big Spring Park to join the local NAACP chapter in protesting the killing of George Floyd. And right now, crews are actually here at the park uh, cleaning it up from that protest. They're emptying out the trash cans and moving posters that were left behind, just like this one, on some of those park benches. And that's what they are doing right now at this time. There was a lineup of many speakers at the rally calling for police reform. Speakers included city leaders, the Madison County NAACP president, and the mother of Dana Fletcher, the man killed in a poli Madison police involved shooting back in October. The NAACP had a list of demands they spoke about, including the release of body cam footage and a local police review board. One community activist told us she hopes this time things will change. I'm tired. I feel like I've been talking about the same thing my entire adult life. I thought that Rodney King would change things, right? That that moment was the moment. The speakers wanted the protest to remain, remain peaceful so their message would not get lost in the chaos. Another big message that they wanted to relay was the importance of voting. They actually had a table set up here so that protesters could be registered to vote for the upcoming election. Reporting live in Huntsville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News.